Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. Okay? Just receive the green light, the okay sound. I'm about to start my journey Woo! <laughs> into the unknown. Oh, long time no see. I know. I know. But I'll tell you why in a second. Because things have been going on. Take it in, take it in. Yes, I'm in a duff. <sighs> and finally on the road. I've started some uh, some midday work. Uh, I've got 11 o'clock start. Now it's half past 12. Because I was queuing about one hour just to get the just to get the jobs and all that. Oh no. Got some of those sensors proximity sensors how they call them and if something is on my left somewhere over there just screams Beep! you're danger danger ah. right uh, one year ago I was starting my journey in the same place exactly one year ago and now I'm back in the same place once again as usual chasing the money so to bring you up to speed on what's been happening why no vlogs recently well just simply because I didn't work that much because I had I even I think I still have it uh, had a, a terrible flu um, actually my son brought it home uh, he fell sick just on his left last day on his last day at school then he passed it over to uh, to his mother to my wife Alice and then it was my turn and it's now two weeks since I'm struggling to get rid of this flu because it's a flu it's not a cold because the cold lasts what three four days five days but this is ongoing for two weeks now and my voice is just terrible it sounds like I'm speaking out of the uh, the sewage or something so I'm sorry about that um, I feel better now I, I feel it it's it's passing away it's going but last week last week was horrible I could only work two days well to be honest I didn't find anything um, anything I would like and uh, for reason reasonably good money so I worked two days on a company in Liverpool I was just picking up trailers from um, from the port and delivering or collecting but similar to what I've done in the previous videos but this this was a good a much better company I only worked like for I don't know nine ten hours a day which was great and um, very nice surprise when I got to uh, to the office uh, was an English fella, an English bloke, uh, who looked at me, where are you from? And I was like, Romania. He said, oh, Romania, my favorite country. Like, I, I was like, are you joking? He said, no. And from under the desk, he pulled out a, because we have these uh, three liter bottles of beer, in Romania it's called uh, Timisoara it's from Timisoara one of the um, one of the biggest city of of, uh, of Romania it's a very good beer and one of the drivers who was actually a Romanian um, brought this to him and um, he kept me in the office I think for 15 20 minutes just to explain me how much he loves Romania and how all of his holidays in the last 5 years was spent in Romania <laughs> And I was like, Jesus Christ, I, I mean, it's a surprise, don't get me wrong. It just makes you feel good, you know, when you hear stuff like this. And he was just, just rambling about how much he loves this and like that, and loves the food and loves the beer and all that. Such, such a nice guy, you know. And it reminded me, actually, the first time I've ever walked into the UK, I was 
I was coming in with a delivery um, to a place I, I don't remember where uh, so I, I got there and um, once again it was an English bloke who um, was a forklift driver I believe and um, said where are you from I was like Romania he said oh I can't believe it he actually knew the whole fucking football players from the uh, from the Romanian football team from 15 years ago and I was actually ashamed that I'm, I didn't knew these things that he was talking about <laughs> he was like so excited he kept telling me I mean I know about the great the great football players like Hadji or Petrescu or whatever a couple of them played for Barcelona a lot of them played in uh, in the UK as well but he knew so much he knew actually more things that I knew about the Romanian football and I was a bit of a shame you know I didn't know those things and he was just keep telling me about them so oh my god so, that, that's a very nice memory you know uh, right so um, I worked two days for these guys um, then I stayed uh, what Friday Saturday Sunday Monday at home uh, and I've started working here for these guys on Tuesday I mean uh, Tuesday to Saturday Rota I'm working for a contractor which is good because they have uh, they have uh, these new DAFs it's not an XF it's a CF uh, which means basically it's a smaller cab but they are brand new and I haven't driven a CF for I don't even remember how long uh, actually this is the, the 106 the newer the newer model of CFs and I remember the old model of CF was such a piece of crap and everything was so crammed in the inside but on this truck I feel great plenty of of space for the uh, for the legs very comfortable brand new nice new smell I mean what's not to like right Right, so uh, my first collection is done. It was a bit of an awkward maneuver there because I was like one inch close to the wall on the right. And if you turn too much on the left, on your left, the, uh, the tail will swing and you'll actually hit the wall on the right. So that has to be taken in consideration. Yeah, nice and easy so far. I'm uh, way ahead of schedule. <clears throat> and I was telling you about, uh, I think I was telling you about yesterday. Yesterday I got canceled. I was just getting ready to to step out of the house and they called me saying don't come in we don't have a truck I was like fuck you now but the thing is because they only told me half an hour before I actually started my shift I am assuming that I'm gonna be paid uh, we didn't discuss this but um, this is a good agency so yesterday, because I got cancelled, I was just scrolling on uh, on Facebook Marketplace, on Gumtree, on eBay, blah blah blah. Because I've been planning for quite a while, for about a year, to get a camp, to get a Sprinter van, and convert it into a camper van. And yesterday just out of the nowhere I think just about a couple of hours before the uh, the guy put the uh, the ad up on Gumtree and I found a van I went there I've seen it 
I liked it and I bought it <laughs> and I'm so excited because it was a, a really great price it's um, it's a 61 plate sprinter long wheel base uh, and I got it for three grand three thousand pounds well, of course it's high mileage but it's a sprinter and I've never been afraid of uh, high mileage cars if they are in fair condition so this van has 250,000 miles I've been speaking to a couple of guys and um, you know the uh, the opinions are uh, are divided because when you're gonna buy a second-hand car it's just a lottery it's absolutely a lottery you don't know how often the the, the oil changes were done and all the services were done was done so you're just taking a risk if it's not new you cannot be certain of anything but this guy which i bought the van uh, had a furniture a furniture um, shop um, sorry, not the furniture, it was um, upholstery and stuff like that. So he wasn't quite uh, putting too much pressure on the van. And it looks good, it, it, it just, just looks good, I'm so excited about this. And I'm gonna start building it, uh, hopefully next week. Uh, at the moment I've left it uh, on the garage because I went to, to take it out for a ride. And the um, the check engine light came on and it went into limp mode I took it back back to this guy he said look let's take it on the garage see what see what's what and uh, we'll take it from there so we put it on the tester turns out is the EGR valve EGR um, so now he's getting replaced he's paying for it which <laughs> I mean it's 200 and something for for the part and plus the uh, uh, plus the uh, working hours so I don't know how much it's gonna be but I'm glad because I know it's gonna have a new EGR valve it's got no leaks no nothing looks great I mean the um, the outside of van has a couple of you know you know how the sprinters are a bit of a rust bucket but this one's not that bad and for that price I mean fucking hell I'm so excited I'm gonna record everything and I'm gonna do vlogs on it but um, I'm not gonna do it on this channel so um, I'm gonna do it on my secondary channel which is gonna be in Romania and so sorry but if you have any questions or if you want shorts or anything just let me know maybe I'll do something um, but it's gonna be very exciting I'm, I, I can't wait to be honest I cannot wait I've got all the tools, I've started ordering all kinds of things, parts, oh, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. I have to put the side windows first, I have to put the air vents, I have to put the uh, solar panels, a lot of stuff. I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to do it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an adventure really, because the only things I've ever built were actually furniture from Ikea, and I think I've put up a couple of drapes <laughs> that's it but I've got a lot of tools a lot of tools I mean I'm not I'm not considering myself a handyman I'm thinking more of a handicapped man but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah I can't wait I can't wait I've dreamt I've dreamt for, for this thing for for a long time and um, whoop. Um, I had caravans before I had uh, four caravans in total uh all of them i brought them from uh, from the uk and sold them eventually in romania at the end of my holidays uh, and one of them actually got stolen 12 hours after i bought it from liverpool uh, i don't know if the same guy who sold it to me come uh, came next day and then stole it from the front of the house or if it's uh, if it was somebody else but uh, yeah there was uh i think i lost about uh three three grand there for, for that caravan and to be honest I'm, I'm sick and tired of pulling caravans i wanna i want a camper van and i, I just don't want to pay 15 20 000 pounds for like a regular caravan where when we have the flexibility here in the uk this is gonna be a 
bitch. This guy didn't stop where he was supposed to stop, like right there, and now I can't turn. Fucking hell, mate. So the good thing in the uh, here in the UK is that you can actually build your own camper van from a van. Uh, I mean, I don't think that's legal anywhere, anywhere else in Europe, like to do it yourself. I mean, I know in Romania it's not. I mean, you have to go to I don't know. It, it's 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 very complicated. I mean, to register it, to register it as a camper van, so a full transition from a van to a camper van. And here in the UK, it's pretty easy to do that. And I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> So that's why I'm in a good mood today. I'm I'm buzzing. Wow, fucking hell. That's a loud sound. Stay on this lane, it's good. So that's why I'm so excited. I'm hopped up, hyped up today. Uh yeah, it was a good day and um see those those things happen when uh you get a bad news, your job got cancelled for today, and then you get a great news, you find the camp, you find the van. Finally, after all those, all that wait, waiting time, uh, a good bargain because I'm a cheap son of a bitch. You know, I don't want, I don't want to pay top, top buck for for something. If I can get it at a, a special offer, then I'm gonna buy it. If it's just like regular normal price, price, I'm not gonna take it. <laughs> I like a bargain. I like a bargain, but it's a, it's a lottery, you know. When it's too good to be true, most of the times it isn't, but uh, I think I live for the rush. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I'm so excited. Right, anyway, enough about that. Uh, going to the second uh, second collection now, and the problem with this, uh, with this job is it's very boring. And it's gonna be, once again, a challenge for me to uh, come up with decent content we're gonna have uh, plenty of night drive probably because um, it's now winter and uh, at half past five it's already dark so the GoPro will be useless after half past five I absolutely hate the picture coming out of it so maybe I'm gonna have to use the other camera I don't know it's gonna be a challenge but let's just hope for the best See, driving to places like this, we are in Stockport now, near Manchester, or oh, Stockport, Manchester, I don't know. But it's pretty narrow, lots of cars, lots of people, lots of low-hanging trees. I'm actually glad that I'm in this CF right now, because it's, it's pretty big, even if it's not. So it's not too big, it's not too small. You still feel like you're in a truck. You're pretty high up. Uh, and you have very good visibility. The uh, XFs, especially the ones with the, with the, with the tall cab, I think they have the, uh, the blind spot way much bigger than this one. The blind spot on the front left I'm talking about. And those cabs are really massive and just slams on all of the trees and all that. So this is, I would say, the ideal truck for these kinds of jobs. Because, let's face it, wha what are we doing now? We are just collecting from all over the places. And uh, just bringing it back to the depot. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind having a run to Scotland in this truck because it's very comfortable so it's a win-win I'm really surprised I didn't thought that I'm, that I'm gonna like them because they are small-ish somehow but they're not that small and they're comfortable because it's a duff fast forward through the week and it is Saturday today and uh, happy about it because sun is up nice weather traffic is great what the hell are you doing you're stopping stopping for a piece are you 
stopping to get some photos top of the m62 my favorite place <laughs> uh, and yeah it's saturday but it's friday for me so this is my last day of work i had a very 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 easy week this job actually is very very easy all i do is drop and swap or put it on the bay so unfortunately no quality content this week and it also comes uh, with a bit of a bad news because unfortunately i have to stop vlogging i have to stop vlogging at least for a while while i'm here um, it's safer not to vlog anymore because it's um, it's not quite allowed if you know what i mean i mean it's it's their policy and um, yeah it is what it is um, not gonna go through um, a lot of details on where i work um, but maybe some of you already know it a couple of you already seen me through the yard came in to say hello but please discretion is advised and um, very much welcomed now i've got an blank empty white trailer and i've got an empty blank white tractor unit but uh, unfortunately this is gonna be a last vlog the last vlog for a while for a while anyway and um, it's a really it's a really hard decision to make but um, at the moment i will have to put the job in front of the uh, of the youtube channel it's simple as that very hard for me to do um, I was hoping um, I was hoping to do uh, to do I don't know a bit of a quality content on this but it's hard and um, no it can't be done simple as that so uh, I was thinking what what to do with with the channel I was thinking if I uh, I've got some ideas. I've got some ideas to have a couple of guests um, do either some kind of podcast, talking heads, um, or live podcasts, or whatever, with other drivers or interesting people. Or I've got all kinds of ideas. Um, I even consider, as I've said before. Uh, because I'm gonna start building the uh, the camper van next week maybe I should put a couple of clips of that but I don't know if anybody would be interested so just let me know in the comments what do you want to see next either like I've said talking heads uh, have a couple of guests have a couple of conversations conversations or do you want to see the uh, the van getting built because um, that's that's my only options at the moment I was planning to do the uh, the video convert the, the, the conversion videos on uh, on the on the other channel which is um, only in Romanian but with this bit of a bad news I don't know I'm considering if I'm if I should do it here on this channel I've got no idea I really have got no idea but yeah bit of a bad news there um, but the channel actually is going great it has had received an explosion of views and subscribers and subscribers um, a lot of interest in two of the videos I did this summer when um, I did a couple of interviews if I can say that yeah some kind of an interviews um, to, um, to some of to, to some of my friends who actually left the so-called big city life to move in the countryside to, uh, to have a more simpler and um, healthier and um, 
maybe easier life and it's something that um, attracted a lot of interest and I'm glad I'm, I'm really surprised to be honest because one of the videos I think it reached about 45,000 views and for a video which is in Romanian is not in English I would say it's it's pretty big pretty huge coming from someone like me <laughs> I mean don't get me wrong there's their stories are interesting what's with all these breakdowns just everywhere just breakdowns on this stretch the truth is because of the uh, the nature of the job even if I would be able to uh, to continue vlogging it's pretty boring because I'm not doing too much you know I'm just even either drop and swap trailers or put them on the bay and I don't think I'm, I'm bringing value any value with this kind of video just me talking and because uh, at the moment everything it's everything it's quiet everything it's it's um, it's pretty straightforward and um, I've always said that um, if I can uh, if I can help somebody with some kind of advice I'll be happy but uh, I'll be happy to do it but if I'm gonna do it just for doing it um, I think it's better just to, to take a break because if you're not if you're not bringing any value any interesting information any interesting stuff I mean what's the point just talking about I don't know I don't know just talking crap don't think it helps don't think everybody has their own crap <laughs> don't think uh, don't think I will watch a vlogger just talk crap talk talk nothing interesting and nothing valuable thank you very much I've got a slow vehicle right here let's see what is he carrying some kind of a huge fucking thing You're welcome. You wanna go? No? What is that stuff? Who knows? Who knows? Looks like some kind of uh Yeah, it's a it's a metal thing. It's a it's a huge fucking metal thing. <laughs> Got no idea what is it. Yeah, so that's about it not 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 too much to say really sorry but yeah we'll have to take a break let me know in the comments what you want to see on the channel do you want to see the camp uh, the camp being built do you want to see a uh, podcast uh, do you want to see me talking to guests just just let me know let me know uh, and I shall see you pretty soon let's hope I want to say thanks to the guys who, uh, who recognize me around the yard coming uh, coming over to say hello much appreciated but once again discretion is very much appreciated and uh, advised and uh, yeah see you soon guys thank you very much thank you for everyone who who joined uh, who joined the channel um, very much appreciated and I shall see you next time bye